Hi, I'm James from Valwerk Marine. But today, uh, unusually, I'm out in the Netherlands and bringing this video from the Interboat showroom. I'm gonna show you around this Intender 950 cabin that's just behind me. As much as I can before we get on board, I'll just give you, I can only get down the starboard side at, uh, from where I am in this vantage point. Just give you a quick look as much as I can. As we're indoor in the showroom, you've got a decent fore deck there. So if you're anchoring, you've got decent access to the work area. Coming around this particular boat is fitted with these raised railings. So you, if you're out in choppy water, uh, you're feeling quite secure. Coming aft, one of the real features of this boat is a beautiful stainless steel windscreen, which we'll see a little bit more of when we're inside. Uh, this boat's fitted with the optional S-Tech on deck, which can be specced in different colours, and also with the rope fendering, the traditional rope fendering. That is an option. You can have that fitted with a uh, rubber fender if you prefer, and that can be specced in different colours, the rope fendering. So let's get you up on board. Great for stern to mooring this boat. You've got easy access onto the swim platform, and the port side, you've got a really nice, easy access way through into the cockpit. Aft end, you've got a lovely big sunbed there. These are an optional extra. You can take those out, those cup holders, and armrests or have them in. Underneath this area, uh, I'm gonna get you right in there. You've got a huge locker. Um, you can put your canopies, fenders, and all that sort of thing, and that's on gas struts to make that easy loading. So this boat can be spec with the helm position. Uh, there's an alternate for the helm position. You've got it centrally here, which uh, gives you better visibility forward, but also means that if you're, uh, from a social aspect, you're right in the center of the boat and all your friends are kind of around you. But it can be specified to have a rear helm position, this boat. So taking it round, you've got a lovely big L shape on the port side table is an option there is a second option where you can have a table with lower poles and an infill cushion to make that whole area into a sunbed coming around you've got a galley here sink this one is specced with an electric hob fridge some storage And then I'm going to take you down into the cabin. So it's very much a weekend of this boat. So you've got a decent V berth there. Small area you can sit down and change there if you want to, and it makes it easy to step up and onto the berths. A little bit of storage up there. Plenty of natural light. This boat's been spec with an electric toilet. and some other nice extras. You've got heating on this boat, so you've got uh, heating vents both up in the cockpit and down here in the cabin. Equally, uh, this boat has an inverter and a uh, battery charger combined. And storage. Particular boats fitted with some nice extras, which I can showcase for you now. Uh, you've got a proportional bow and stern thruster. That's a bow pro. Um, lovely glass cockpit. There are various options available for that. This particular unit is a Garmin. And this particular um, boat was specced with Volvo Penta, but new boats coming into build would be with a Yanmar engine. So you can see the electronic Volvo throttle. Carbon steering wheel is an option. This particular boat's also been fitted um, with transom shower. And as well as the fridge that I showed you up in the galley area, there is also an auxiliary cooler down here and the bench. So in that side bench there, that is a cooling unit. I'm not gonna get fully up on deck because we are in a showroom um, with quite a low ceiling, but I just wanna show you ease of access. Both port and starboard, you've got a nice side step here. It's easy to transfer and get up onto the deck. And as I said, when I was uh, at the beginning of the video, this boat's fitted with the side railing. So you've got decent side decks there to get round up onto the bow uh, and feel secure. There are various canopy options available and uh, we can show those to you. Um, this boat at the moment has got its spray hood up. This is probably a really nice combination of how to be on a nice sunny day. You got loads of fresh air. And in fact, the forward section is off. So you're just completely open open at this forward area you've got shade over the helm and then a completely open rear you can have a tonneau 
going back just for ease of use, just a, which would slope down to the transom of the boat. Alternatively, there is an option to have a raised canopy, which would mean you could enclose this whole area and have your heating working. Very much a whistle stop tour of this boat today. I'm just out on a, a, a factory visit uh, and it's a really rare opportunity to see one of these boats, especially indoors undercover. So I wanted to take that moment and show you around the boat. Please do contact us. We have more photos available and we can discuss a spec with you to put one of these boats into build. Thank you for watching.